If you love me, obey my commandments. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel from the Mission of San Andrew in Tijuana, Diocese of Mexico of the Orthodox Church in America. Welcome to the Gospel for May the 30th, 2020, according to St. John. Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works, of the works themselves. Amen, I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact will do greater works than this, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask of my, in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him because he abides in you, and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphaned, I am coming to you. In a little while the world will not longer see me, but you will see me, because I live. You will also live. On that day you will know that I am in the Father, and that you in me, and I in you. Glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to thee. I'm a little bit uh, shaken. Excuse me. I pray to God that he will allow me to share with you a little bit of what he has just taught me. I have prepared this. If you love me, obey my commandments. It is the, the door, the entrance door to the love of God. We are being invited. Well, let me explain. This this is the reality of the realization of what God's talking in the Holy Scripture from the beginning till the end. That wedding of the Christ of the Lamb, where you and I and everyone willing is invited, not as a guest. That's the right. As it is beautifully reflected upon by St. Paul. That is why the Lord today says, As the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. If any one of you loves me and obeys my commandments, and that is the true sign of the one that is loving Christ, to obey his commandments, then my Father will love you, and you will remain in me, and I remain in you. John Chrysostom, St. John Chrysostom wrote that the beautiful miracle, the beautiful miracle of us entering into communion with Christ is deeper and even more beautiful than the communion, the, the, the cohabitation of a man and his wife. And when does this happen? When we obey the commandments of Christ, and we go and receive the Holy Communion in the Holy Orthodox Church. When we have prepared ourselves, we are being enticed into the chamber of the Lord. So that this might be fulfilled. And it's so beautiful and it, is, it absolutely overwhelms me. And I hope that God will grant me to, to be able to explain this to you. And will grant you to at least grasp a little bit of that what I'm saying. That's what the Lord wants to do with you and with me. That we might become one. As it is written in Genesis. And so man will leave his father and his mother and become one with his wife. So that we are no longer foreigners but rather one in the Son and then we will be saved. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.